Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today we'll be finding out how people can fill some empty bowls and help feed the hungry in this area. My That's guest right. today is uh, the director of the Pike County Salvation Army, Kim May. Kim, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. And Glad as I mentioned, uh, filling some empty bowls, the Empty Bowls Project. Tell us a little about what this whole uh, project and event is all about. Okay. Empty Bowls Luncheon is designed to feed the hungry. You know, there's a lot of hungry per people in our area and in our nation. And it's very interesting. What it is is we have locally made bowls and celebrity bowls, and we sell tickets. They're $20 a piece. That ticket provides you with your choice of a handmade bowl, a unique bowl. Everyone is different. Every bowl is different. And you get your choice of a soup or stew, whatever the choices we have, you mm -hmm. can pick what you want. A roll, crackers, dessert, and tea. And some of our bowls will be celebrity bowls, and they will have right. bid sheets. You can bid okay. on those bowls. So you get a chance to uh, bid on a couple of celebrity bowls. There, there's, there's some more. The, the, the generic bowls for everyone is just coming to the, to the meal. But yes. they're special. They're, they're, they're special individual bowls. bowls. But the celebrity bowls, and we're talking about that because one, uh, we have one celebrity bowl right here with us, and uh -huh. one that a lot of uh, Trojan fans will probably say, right here, this one is a uh, Jarrell Jernigan, Jernigan bowl, bowl uh, you know, who will be, uh, you know, is right now uh, in the NFL, former Trojan great, right. and now uh, <laughs> people get a chance to maybe own a piece of uh, pottery made by Jarrell Jernigan. And talk a little about how this whole bid process works, how they'll be able to get their hands on one of these if they want. Okay. So, at the luncheon, we'll have these celebrity bowls on a table with bid sheets. Mm -hmm. You just write down your bid. At the end of the luncheon, whoever has the highest bid gets that bowl. And so they had a chance. And now, how many, I guess, how many quote unquote celebrity bowls do y'all expect to have? Well, as of right now, we have like eight celebrity bowls. Mm -hmm. We hope to have more. And so, and what are some of the celebrities that you, you have that have, have done some of these Okay, bowls? well, so. yesterday, the uh, governor's wife, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Bentley, came down. She made a bowl or designed a bowl for us mm -hmm. and signed it. We'll have that bowl there. And she will also be at our luncheon. Okay. She'll be there to meet and greet and mingle with the guests. Um, Janice Hawkins, the chancellor's wife, mm -hmm. she made a bowl for us. Uh, Coach Larry ba Blakeney mm -hmm. and his wife, they made bowls. So that would be another for Trojan fans out there. Very so. interesting, yeah. And Dr. Mary Jo Cochran, she mm -hmm. made a bowl. And Mrs. Bentley's assistant, Heather Hanna, okay. she also made a bowl. We'll have her bowl there also. So, but uh, the, op the opportunity here is also, but the main thing is just to feed the hungry. And talk a little about, about, I guess, the process of this. We talk about the celebrity bowls, but anybody mm -hmm. who, who participates is going to have a bowl. How did the rest of the bowls come about? Where did the other bowls come from? Okay, just local people can mm -hmm. make bowls, our local citizens in our community. Mm -hmm. The seniors at the college complex usually make us some bowls. Okay. Troy University students make us bowls, okay. and we also get some from usually from the Alabama Clay Council. We get a few bowls. Uh, Larry Percy here on campus, he helps us with that. And we actually use his studio. Mrs. Bentley okay. made her bowl yesterday in uh, his studio. In, there, in the studio, the so correct. opportunity for that. And of course, and like we said, they're pretty unique bowls. There's a variety just here behind us here, uh, a variety of different kinds of bowls. So they're all different. Mm -hmm. And you can see that they're all very unique. This is a locally made bowl, not a celebrity bowl, not but you see, bowl. and that one is too. This one, Walter Black made this one. Okay. Hey, I think he was a student of Larry Percy's, but now he's an artist. Okay. He's pretty well known. He made us some bowls. We actually have six by Walter Black. They all have bid sheets on those. So the people will be able to get those as well. Yeah. So And now mm -hmm. the, the luncheon itself, obviously, uh, where you talk about feeding the hungry, but how exactly is this going to be okay. feeding the hungry? All the proceeds goes toward our food bank okay. at the Salvation Army. We have a food bank on site here in Troy. We give out food every day. So your contribution will stay right here in Pike County. Okay. Well, for the anyone out there who's interested in going to the uh, luncheon, when and where is it going to be? It is February 24th. Okay. That's on a Friday. It's going to be at Bush Memorial Fellowship Hall all right. from 11 to 2. All right. So we can fit all the lunch people. Will have, they'll have plenty of time to come and enjoy And those tickets, say one more time, how much is that? They're $20 each. Okay. And that provides you with your choice of a handmade bowl, mm -hmm. some good soup or stew, a roll, tea, and dessert. 
All right. And then if anyone's interested in getting in, tickets. In, 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 getting in, getting in touch with you, getting tickets, what do they need to do? Either come by the Salvation Army okay. on South Burnley Street or give us a call. Okay. The number is 334-808-1069. All right. Well, uh, good luck with this year's uh, luncheon, and uh, hopefully uh, maybe somebody will put some good money down for a Jarrell Jernigan Bowl. So. I hope so. All right. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much.